trilogy, I think one of the things that has been important for me is that each book really feel complete and have a complete arc and feel, um, feel full and rich um, and have character development, uh, which is what makes so many novels interesting, the transformation of a character from point A to point B, her realization, her, his or her realization of you know, new values or new goals. Um, and while still having enough threads between them, that will enable the story as a whole to, to live and hang together. In Delirium, I left all of these threads loose and hanging open. Um, there both wasn't space for them in the book to be resolved, and it wasn't, they didn't belong in this book to be resolved. And so those threads then in the second book, you know, you begin weaving them together in different ways. And in the second book, Pandemonium, I've left, it's led me to different threads that I've left. Um, unwoven. So I think it's about leaving yourself avenues. So for me, it was always about kind of expanding the book in richness, in scope, um, over the course of these three books. It's been very important to me to keep it interesting for myself and engaging for myself as a writer and challenging as a writer. And that way I can be sure that each book, I'm approaching each book as its own book, as a fullness, as a complete work and not just as the third in a trilogy of which I am rapidly tiring. And this is a way of, again, engaging kind of myself with it in a new way, approaching the material in a new way, so that I can be sure that each book feels totally complete, um, while still obviously, you know, wrapping up or resolving in, in, it, in as much as you can um, all of the different divergent storylines um, that, have, that have happened throughout the first two books.